Hey Teresa, this is Rich. Hey, probably easy to see a clip of how this could work, right? So, um, context variable for con ID. So if I go to the button, first of all, display mode, click on that, and then show you what we've got going on there. Um, let's format that to make it look a bit prettier. Um, so, if con row ID equals the ID of that row, um, from SharePoint, then make it the button editable or usable. Else, have it disabled, right? So just have that on the button, so on the display mode section. And then inside of um, the all these cells, um, you want to add in update context con underscore row ID equals this item dot ID, right? Um, and put that on any of these. So I've done it on, on select, so it'll, it'll fire up as soon as um, I click in any of those cells. So to show you how that works, now if I click that one, see the button comes on, click that one, and the button's there, right? Um, for you, if you don't want to show the button, right, um, you want to make um, the, it's in, invisible, right, and then the button just shows up when um, uh, you want, you click on that row, it's the same process, right, so you just, rather than so copy that, don't have to have it disabled, you can just go onto the visible property and then if you wanted to hide them and just show that button when someone clicks on it, um, just paste that but then change the display mode so you're going to say if that one is the item that's true um, and if it's not, it's false, yeah? And so then the last one I clicked on is that one, I click him, do that, and so as I go I, I can change it that way. That's the, the process for the um, context variable for the ID piece. I hope that helps. Um, I'll look at your next question now.